Hello, everyone. Howdy. <laughs> I'm LeBron James, and uh, this is my first TED Talk. <laughs> uh, behind this mask, there's more than just flesh. Beneath this mask, there's an idea. And ideas, as Alan Moore said, are bulletproof. I've always enjoyed playing with words, and from the first poem I ever shared 10 years ago, I've done so from behind a mask, anonymously. For it is my opinion that while fame and recognition can be a powerful tool, it can be both a blessing and a curse. You know, Bill Murray once said, if you want to become rich and famous, get rich first and see if you still want to be famous. I'm very humbled to have grown a large audience over the last few years, and I, I think I'm like many other creators out there that never fully understand why people follow them in the first place and are very humbled and surprised when they do. But if I had to guess, I would suspect it's because I at least try to write what I feel and not what I think I should feel. Lisa Magnum said, sometimes wearing a mask is the best way to show our true selves. Oscar Wilde said, give a man a mask and he will tell you the truth. And I believe that remaining anonymous over the years has helped me do that. But that's not the only reason I wear a mask. The truth is, the year I started writing poetry, I lost a friend to depression and what I would describe as the complications of fame. I remember many years ago, I, I went on a date. We were discussing this idea of fame, and I asked her, would you rather be happier or be famous? She said, oh, I'd definitely rather be famous because if I was famous, I know I would be happy. It was a trick question. Years later, when I signed my first book deal, the publisher begged me to reveal my identity. They told me if I did, I would sell more books. I could get on the Today Show. I could maybe even one day get a brand deal with a makeup company. I do have nice skin, as you can tell. But all that didn't really interest me. And this presented an interesting dilemma. Could I still spread my work in a meaningful way and not be famous? It worked for Banksy. It worked for Marshmallow. It worked for Batman. The truth is we all wear masks in one way or another. Mine just happens to literally be a mask. And these days there certainly is a strange obsession with fame. TikTok is a pretty weird place. I know, I'm on it. People want to be recognized, to be famous, but why? Now this all might sound a little strange coming from me, not only because I'm a dude on a stage wearing a mask giving a TED talk, but because I have this, this social following. And so don't get me wrong, I, I want to get my work out there. I want to connect with interesting people. I want to have amazing experiences and to be successful. I just don't want to be recognized at the same time. Forty years ago, the most popular answer to the question, what do you want to be when you grow up, was an astronaut. In 2020, do you know what it was? A YouTuber. Now do you know what it is? A TikTok star. We've created a power struggle for likability, a world where influence is monetized by likability. But is it all a race to the bottom? A race to a place without happiness, fulfillment, or connection? My purpose in life, I believe, is to help spread more poetry into the world and to inspire others to share their own stories, whether that's through art or music or, like me, through words. And I believe others can do this too and still not be famous. But the world is changing, art is changing, and and so must I, and, and so eventually must Atticus. So here today is actually one of the last times I plan to wear a mask in public. <laughs> Instead, I'd like to introduce you to the very possible future of Atticus, the very possible future of anonymity in art. This is me, albeit maybe a better looking version of me, but it is me, my avatar. I'm still wearing a mask of sorts, but it's a digital mask, a digital version of myself. 
Maybe it's a small part of who I want to be or a, a part of who I think Atticus could be. The truth is, I believe the future is somewhere in this convergence of the physical world and the digital world. The what's next in social interaction, creation, and the sharing of ideas. Maybe this is a new way for artists, creators, writers to spread their passions without, as a bonus, being famous. Now, to be clear, I don't believe this is the answer to art. I, for one, am enjoying the, the real world over the digital world more and more these days. But I also believe that if used correctly, this could be a digital existence, this new digital existence could be a tool for artists like myself to share work and ideas without maybe that race for fame, the insatiable need to be recognized. And maybe even one day this idea of no fame could become as powerful as fame is today. But hey, don't take my word for it. I'm just LeBron James. Let me instead turn things over, perhaps forever now, to, well, Atticus. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry if I'm a little nervous. I'm only a few days old, and it's my very first TED Talk. Andre Berthiame said, we all wear masks, and the time comes when we cannot remove them without removing some of our own skin. In the pandemic, Atticus received hundreds of messages every day from people suffering with depression and anxiety. Very often, it was young folks suffering with self-harm. It was a humbling experience to have those messages come in and people saying that poetry had helped them process this sadness. In many ways, Atticus saved our life. Poetry certainly did. And we would like Atticus and poetry to do that for others long after, well, one of us is gone. And that's the interesting thing about this new digital world. Art, in many ways, becomes immortal. Ideas, as Moore said, become bulletproof. And so one day soon, we plan to give Atticus back to the people who built him, the readers, and have him live on as a foundation for bringing more poetry into the world and helping others find their own voices. And maybe, just maybe, spread those voices without fame. But for now, Atticus will continue to do what he set out to do 10 years ago. Send love from the shadows. Thank you.